Bryce Hall sends a strong warning to Fousey. Following his permanent removal from the platform, Fousey responded to the ban by blaming his production team for his on-stream meltdown. Okay. He claimed they had assured him that everything would run smoothly, but when it came time to stream, the audio was muted for 30 minutes. Mm. Under the pressure, he lost control. He also posted several tweets in rapid succession wow. since his ban, calling out Kick. So, I understand why Kick banned him. They banned him, right? Because they do not want someone like that on the platform. And one, he's not stable. He will, he might hurt himself, right? So this is the thing. They had to do that. They had to, they, they had to ban him. They should have banned him actually weeks ago, right? Before any of this happened. He's been off, he's been off the knocker. Like he's been, you, you could just, when you see his eyes and like, you just know that he's not there anymore. And like, you know, when Fusi goes berserk when he tries to act like drake but he's like it's like he's trying to act like drake but it's not really how drake acts it's just like his imagination of drake that's actually the funny part so i understand why they try to ban fussy but i don't know guys it's just it's just too much it's just way too much Fousey has been posting and talking about increasingly alarming things. In one video, he admitted to being alone with thoughts of murder and suicide on his what? mind. What? Real one. I got murder on my mind too, dog. What? And suicide. On my mind. What? Hard body. I feel your pain in your music, dog. I'm by myself right now. I started my career on March 25th of 2011, right? He went on to reveal that he often wakes up feeling suicidal and manic, and after the ban, he drank so excessively that he nearly ended up in the hospital. I wake up this morning suicidal, mm. manic, and hung over because oh, I drank bro. to death last night. They almost took me to the hospital. So they should not allow this, right? And I feel like he needs to be go back to the States. He needs to go to a rehab center. And he needs to understand that this isn't good. This isn't good, bro. Like, why are you doing this? In the end, he added that this will probably be the last time we see him. It's the last you'll see of me today, y'all. I loved you so hard. After so many outbursts, the cops eventually came to arrest Fuzi for continuing to make threats online. Yeah, I'm good. Cops are coming to arrest me. Can you not talk to me right now? The cops are here to see me, sir. Why do you guys never respect That's people? Okay. Right, right. I was on the phone with my therapist. I'm yeah. totally okay. No, no, nothing. He was seen trying to convince the police that he was okay, claiming it was other people who called them and emphasizing that he's an internet star. He also mentioned that he had been in the psych ward just two days ago. It's called doxing. You have you heard of doxing? Yes. People call the cops and they do threats to get me arrested. Two nights ago, ask the police department. I was in a psych ward. Fusi, Yusuf. And that's not all. Why? He told him he was in a psych ward, bro. They definitely gonna arrest you, bro. And he isn't well, bro. And I feel like if he go, if he actually goes to jail again, in my opinion, I feel like you know what they're gonna do. They're not gonna allow him to be online anymore. I feel like it's gonna be a court order because I feel like the judge just knows it's bad luck. And I feel like he shouldn't be online. I feel like if he wants to be online, he's he needs to find something where he doesn't stream like IRL content. Maybe he does like reaction videos or something to like actually this completely different that doesn't make him go berserk and he's able to keep a stable head. But in my opinion, I don't even know if that's gonna work. He should just like stay offline. He should just stay offline. That is it's just how it is, guys. Like, what do you guys think? Like, put in the comment section. But I just, I feel like, I feel bad for the man, but it's expected, bro. This is like, what, the sixth time, seventh time, eighth time? I don't even know anymore. Fousey was also apparently accused of rape. He posted about it on Twitter, stating that his ex-manager had just texted him about the accusation. What? Fousey then claimed he had spoken with the girl, who told him she'd had the best intimacy ever. He also mentioned that his entire team has now quit, punctuating his message with snake emojis. Mm. Fousey also called his family and told them that he's disowning them. Hi, Mama, how are you? I know, Bob. I'm just calling to tell you, you guys are never going to see me again. Mm. In the same note, he fired his therapist, who had supported him daily for two years after a call with her. Let Yusuf walk out and see us laughing and flirting with each other, okay? So, yeah, this is bad. He He's not, he's not good, bro. He's not good. Like, the stream went down. Why did it go down? 
because the internet went out and their job is to watch the stream and tell me it goes down. Three minutes went by, they didn't say shit. Are they in charge of the, they in charge of the internet? Can they make it happen? No, they, but they're in charge. Think... They're in charge of watching the stream to tell me when it goes okay. down. The entire. Bro so this is the thing, right? He's having a mental breakdown. He lost his kick deal or even if he had a kick deal, quotations, quotations. Um, basically, everyone around him is quitting. He doesn't have... He cannot stream on a platform anymore. So, he's just... It's not good. It's actually not good. I feel like he's in distress. And I don't know... I don't think he's ever coming back to kick. I don't think kick wants that negative publicity. They already, they're already losing rage. They're already losing XQC. Now they're losing Fousey. And that they already kept him Fuzzy on too long. He should have been banned weeks ago. But this is insane. This is insane, bro. So this is why he's he's spiraling down. It's gonna keep getting worse until it gets better, right? It's just how it is when people are manic. It's just like you just need to. I feel like all that we can do is just pray, and all we can do is like try to support and be like, hey, bro, like hopefully you get better. Just. Get off the internet for a couple weeks and you'll be good, man. Bryce Hall versus Fousey situation started when Fousey went live and remarked that fame can disappear in an instant. He pointed to Bryce Hall as an example, saying that although Bryce was relevant two years ago, his fame has now faded. Clout, fame, that lasts, it's, it's quick. Think about Bryce Hall, he was relevant two years ago. Who the fuck talks about Bryce Hall now? He's irrelevant. Bryce responded to Fousey's taunt by saying that Fousey is only known for his public breakdowns. He added that Fousey has mm. never done anything memorable on social media aside from having meltdowns and told him to stop talking nonsense and act his age. So, I would, okay, I have to disagree with Bryce Hall about this. Fousey was actually super famous back in the day for the pranks. That's how he actually he got super famous. Um... And it wasn't because of the breakdowns. The breakdowns came after. But this is what I'm going to say is that that I think Bryce, do a little bit more research, bro. I'm not trying to be with you or anything. I'm just trying to tell you, bro, like Fuse has been on the Internet for a very long time. And I understand he made a bad comment and I understand why you're upset. But, bro. You can't get like you can't say that he like he only gets he's only famous because of his breakdowns. This man got famous off pranks, not breakdowns. You can't even people don't even have prank channels because they get demonetized. I think now, but like I just I'm just I'm just fact checking Bryce, right? I'm not authorization here, no statements, but yeah. Fousey then followed up with a voice note in which he referred to Bryce as the scum at the bottom of his shoe. Yo, Bryce. I don't want to have to do this to you, dog. Like, you're literally, you're literally the scum on the bottom of my Ooh. shoe. He also told Bryce that the only reason he makes money is that Fousey is the hand that feeds him, insisting that Bryce should bow down to him. What? You're playing in my game. You make money because I'm the hand that feeds you because I created the shit. Bow down to me, little kid, little pussy. Bry what? Why is he saying these things? Bryce responded to this taunt by emphasizing that Fousey needs to go back to rehab. In another tweet, he remarked that Fousey sounded like a kid who had just learned how to swear. He oh my gosh. I feel like Bryce should be upset, bro. Like, But the, at the same time, don't feed into this, bro. Don't even... I won't even tweet, tweet back. Just let him act all like... Crash out, right? I don't know. He suggested that Fousey was probably embarrassed about being called out for being drunk and touching a woman, telling what? him to go to sleep and noting that he was just two public breakdowns away from his 10th stint in rehab. Fousey quickly retaliated, saying that he knew Bryce had always struggled with mental health issues, but he didn't expect him to have the audacity to respond to him. I knew you were stupid. I knew you were mentally impaired. I did. I didn't know if you had Down syndrome, autism, or were on the spec. Like, I didn't oh know. Oh my gosh. I knew you were a dumb fuck. I didn't know you were so dumb to fucking reply. And to try to reply in a tweet. And to try to be the bigger person and be like, Yusuf. Fousey also shared a slew of other things. He mentioned that Bryce would always have his songs playing during intimate moments. And a whole lot of other things. Never gonna come out of my mouth again. And then every single time what? somebody plays my song and dances to it next to you, you're gonna be having sex 
You're gonna be playing the hip hop playlist on shuffle. Nigga, my song's gonna come on when you ejaculate. My music- What? Motherfucker. Bryce responded again, suggesting that- Look at his eyes, bro. This man has literally no soul, bro. Right now, like, this isn't real, bro. His eyes, there's no pupils. Where are his pupils, bro? Or, like, am I tripping? I think I, I don't think I'm tripping, bro. I don't know, guys. What do you guys think? This man is going insane and, like, what the heck? Fousey was likely using this as a way to promote his upcoming song. The most outrageous moment in the entire Bryce and Fousey situation came when Fousey recorded himself saying that he was going to smash Bryce's girlfriend. I was in what? the same industry as Bryce Hall. This motherfucker thinks he's next to me? Royalty? Nigga, I'll fuck your bitch too with her fat ass. I'll eat her asshole so good. I'll what? I'll shit out of it. I'll drink her bath water. She'll suck my dick and I'll say, come spit it back in my mouth and let me kiss you. I've met her. She's the sweetest. Okay. What? That's kind of crazy. Well, why are you saying that type of stuff, Fousey, bro? Like, you got to chill, bro. You got to chill, bro. Like, that's going way too far. You never bring the significant other into this. We already learned this with the Logan Paul situation. You never bring the significant other into the situation. No, 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 no. At this point, Bryce responded angrily, stating that he is normally a calm and non-aggressive person. However, he warned that when he meets Fuzi next, he will teach him a lesson that will make him think twice before speaking badly about his family again. Yeah, I feel like he, he definitely 100% crossed the line. He 100% crossed it. And now, I don't know what's going to happen. I feel like they're going to be... I feel like he is right, right? Dusk is right. Basically, what he's doing is getting promotion for his music so people listen to it even if he cannot be on kick. Is he a marketing genius right now? Yes, but at the same time, it is lowering his status of an internet star. People are just watching him because they know that he's going manic. It is super bad. It is so bad. So, I think Fusi just needs to chill out. I think he. I don't think the song's gonna be that good. I'm gonna listen to it after the, actually. <laughs> I'm gonna listen to it after this video, but I don't know, guys. It's kind of crazy. Bryce also posted a picture of Fusi passed out, warning him that the situation he would put him would be even worse than that. There has. So, what do you guys think about this whole situation? Um. I, I just think I think it's over after this. I don't think we're gonna be hearing from Fusi in a long time. But um yeah, I'm gonna say huge shout out to Dusk. If you guys don't know who Dusk is, please sub, turn on your notifications, like the video. Dusk, so you've been killing it, brother. I've been watching all your videos. Thank you so much. Follow Dusk before you follow me. That is my motto. Um put in the comment sections what do you guys think? And yeah, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, peace.